to those who don't believe, from my experience, something far greater than myself or yourself created all of this. I don't think it was Bing Bang Boom. And in other galaxies and other universes beyond your comprehension, beyond human comprehension, there are other galaxies of life, parallel universes. Won't it be a shame if someday life from another universe comes picking up our signals from radio and television that are ancient at that time, only to discover that Mars and Earth are now the Gemini twins. Yes, there used to be intelligent life here, until they messed it up. We are so near the end of time with global warming. It's not a myth. It's not a conspiracy theory. It's real. Picture the Earth as a giant engine in a car driving the world to turn. Well, your car needs gas, oil, and water to make it run properly, antifreeze, so it doesn't overheat. Well, the more we're pulling natural resources out of the earth, the more of those plates shift and create greater friction, the pollution on the planet, global warming, unleashing more and more new diseases that have been hidden for centuries in the ice. And extinction number six will be complete. We are in extinction number six. And to the best of our knowledge, this is the first time humankind has roamed the planet. Or is it? After all, we're basing this on our best guess. We haven't dug deep enough to unearth what's really hidden in planet Earth from the previous five extinctions. We dug deep enough to see early into this last extinction, but not back all six. Well, let me just say that the planet here has been around for almost, almost five billion years, about 4.75 billion years. And we'll be around for at least another 100, 150, unless of course we blow it to smithereens, which here in Hell's Gate is quite possible in Hell, Texas because this little plant called Pantex is sitting on enough weaponry to end time as we know it for 99% of the planet. But for the 1% who have their hidden underground reserves, places to go, underground cities that already exist, I know because I've been there, and they're underneath every major city, 60 miles wide. We're in the Pantex plant. There's also ones in DC, New York, Chicago, LA, and every major city, so the 1% can make their exodus before the end of time, as we know it on the planet today. I believe in something greater than myself. Call up whatever you want, Allah, Buddha, Jesus, Yahweh, Allah. It really doesn't matter what you call your God. My God's loving. My God didn't create race, color, creed to use to segregate, to ostracize, to criticize. My God doesn't color code lies. A lie is a lie, but that's my God. Yours may be different. Your experiences may vary. But might I suggest, Richard Branson, if you get this message in time before they blow this planet up for Extinction 6, if you really are getting those ships ready for people to take trips to other places outside this universe, or certainly this planet, reserve a seat for Uncle Kurt, because I know there's other intelligent life out there. And if the life here is going to end by our intelligence, I'd like to go where there's other intelligence that believes in harmony, peace, 
understanding, compassion. Doesn't criticize someone for how they look, how they dress, how they act, their race, their color, their creed, their gender, their age, their sex, or the lack of it. And who don't live in glass houses. Because glass gets dirty, and glass will break. That's my belief. I'm just saying, it's not too late to stop what is. We can't reverse extinction. But we can certainly, certainly prevent complete destruction if the 99% get together and challenge the lies they're being told about global warming, about corruption in politics, terrorism, about wars, and start to find ways to coexist through sustainable living, through coexistence and sharing and recycling and only using what you need and stop being gluttonous and greedy. Maybe it's time we distribute 100% of the wealth equally to 100% of the coexistence on this planet. Maybe it's time for the reign of tyrannies to end. I changed my name at age 10 because I didn't want to be associated with the families I came from that through the generations of helped craft world politics and religion, which I feel are both very corrupt. And I knew that as a child. And I made a promise to God and to my mom, certainly to myself, to always reveal the truth, even if it put me at risk, even at danger of self. Because in the end of time, God's will will be done. And if I know that something is corrupt, is a lie, even a white lie. If you know me well, you know how I feel about white lies. A lie is a lie. Then maybe you would understand that it's time to question what you're being told because what you're being told is a pack of lies. Wars are created to keep you in fear, to keep you loyal to your nation, to your leaders. It's part of the corruption of the planet with religion. Black magic, white magic, it's still magic. But it is of God. So maybe it's time to look in your inner self and stop listening to all the voices on television and radio and start doing your own research. Research Pantex, P-A-N-T-E-X, plant in Amarillo, Texas. Research Illuminati. Research Freemasons. Research witchcraft. Research the Rothschilds and the World Bank and Satanism. Form decisions and stop being polluted by people telling you what you should think. Use your brain, what God gifted you with. And if you can't comprehend what you're saying, reach out to someone you trust who might give you some real answers. Feel free to call me. I'll collect, please. Um, my numbers are posted on the internet. Feel free to call people you trust or you respect. As long as you've done your homework on them, too. I think my track record will speak for itself. There are those who think Kurt's, you know, way left of center, extreme. Think he's a rebel. Others think I'm a complete lunatic. Others think I'm a terrorist. Some think I'm... Uh, I've heard all kinds of things. Trust me, I've heard them all. Those who know me well know that I've done more for charities than most people alive on the planet. And I'm not patting myself on the back. I didn't even want to take credit for a lot of stuff I've done. But the more you know, the more you're at risk. I know that to be a fact. I've read more global intelligence than probably most world leaders. 
I know how fast the missiles go. I know who has what intelligence, because when they hired the English voice for it, odds are it was hired from a lot of countries. I know for sure. And so, being cleared to do that type of intelligence, you get educated quickly. And unfortunately, because of documents I've signed at this point, unless it's declassified, I can't get into extreme details, but I can say, from a news perspective, and a global perspective, you're being fed a mountain of stuff that's not real. Remember, your karma is not something you buy. Your karma is not something you attain by wishing for. Your karma is determined by your actions, not your words, your actions every day. So, think about what you say. And then be real careful about what you do. Because if you say one thing and do another, right there would be a lie, wouldn't it? But if you can walk your walk and talk your talk and be honest every day with everyone, even if it hurts, and be kind and help others with random acts of kindness, I assure you, God's will will be done for you too. Bless you always. <laughs>